That structure there be represents the main homestead building in that village and comprises or is surrounded by so many other structures that have a variety of uses uh, and that container you see there is a, a traditional container called Chirongo which is used for storing water or liquids and planting and plowing are the major occupations of the people in the village. This is where people get their daily food sources from the crops that they grow. Sometimes they can dry up so badly like this in a drought and that is how it affected affects the village and the, the stocks may stop dry stock may are then stocked as food for cattle the village is structured with certain areas to store certain things the granary for food and that other storage there for dry stalks of maize. And there are several other smaller villages around the main homesteads. These small homesteads are usually of the younger generation village population. This is how people live. The main village is usually where the father or main parents, father and mother, have their children. And then as they grow up, if they don't go out to look for jobs elsewhere in town, they make or build their own homesteads close by. And the father shares the land with them to plow and grow crops for their living. This is how they in their living. In some places, it becomes very difficult to produce if there is no rainfall, because most agricultural output here relies on rainfall. Like this crop of round nuts is actually grown and expected to produce sufficient uh, nuts and uh, give out a yield that is satisfactory to the family. However, this does not happen in a drought where rains are very scanty or very sparse in some areas. Some years can be so good and the grass is green as this patch here and this is good for pastures, for cattle. So many changes have taken place in this area and these villages are not the original homesteads that I know from the time when I was a boy when I went to school in the village 
one day I would like to actually take the video of the school that I went to so that people will see it was almost about 10 kilometers away and we walked there to and fro every day. These villages have, and the, the vegetation has changed. This is the ladies' kitchen wash up area, and they do all the cleaning and wash up for utensils and dishes after use every morning. And you find dogs walking about, picking up all the remnants of food that is thrown away. This is their area. This is a grinding stone. It is used to grind for peanut butter and some merry meal from grains like uh, maize and sorghum. This is the kitchen and this is another ladies area. Especially where the mat is, that's where ladies sit. And here is some village fashion show. The young man showing off what he has in the village. At least it's something to show that he can dress as well. And here I was standing with my cousin and at the river gazing. These are places where we used to play when we were boys. And I was just trying to remember the old days where we used to play and sit and sometimes dangerously and being a non-swimmer myself I made sure I never played in water but my cousins always swam in the pools around but I was always excluded here I sat on the log trying to reflect from the life that I used to live in this village. The village food has even changed. The way we eat now is more modern. This is not what we used to do. We used to eat from one plate, a group of us, not one plate for each. Cattle always were our occupation as boys and we were always associated with cattle and goats. So the fencing of the homestead is also included. Some of this, this plant that you see there is believed to have some kind of protectional values for the homestead. All this that you see I also meant to protect the cattle, including the fence made of poles in a certain pattern, one of our preoccupation as boys ran up and down looking after cattle. So when I looked at this cattle, they reminded me of my old days. And after all this, in the kitchen, on the bench there, with the shelves decorated with all utensils available in the village and the space for ladies to sit on the other side of the fireplace with the fireplace in the center. This was the place where we all gathered in the evening to discuss all the day's work and the events all activities we discussed in this room as we sat around the fire. The fire would make the heart warm anyway with one little window just to let the smoke out. It was sufficient for us and quite comfortable for everybody to sit down and maybe tell stories about our events at school or when heading cattle or what had happened at the riverside 
as there were so many stories to tell during our youth. And there was a lot of activity going on. This is the story of this village life in Zimbabwe. Things that happened long back made young boys active and this is how we discuss them sitting on the bench like i did in this moment with these young stars anxious to have a selfie with me after all the activities of the day please like and subscribe so that you don't miss the next exciting series of videos from villages in zimbabwe thank you